I'm visiting one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world. Green lush hills sitting at the confluence of two rivers. Currently a small provincial capital, it used to be a large fortified city. A significant economical and political center of the Kingdom of Iberia. Adorned by many churches belonging to the Orthodox faith. It was declared the holy city by the Georgian Orthodox Church. This is the city of Metzketa, one of Georgia's many treasures. Today I'm on a brief day trip to show you around this city. First I go up north to Akmetelis Theatre Station after going on the Tbilisi Metro. It is a very busy station as it serves hundreds of thousands of people yet it only has one exit. Here I walked through the underground market that's adjacent or very close to the metro station. It is very common for markets to find themselves in tunnels of passageways or the metro. Quickly, I had found a restaurant that serves pekali, another popular Samaho dish. Pekali are made of chopped and minced vegetables, such as cabbage, eggplant, spinach, beans, beets, combined with walnuts, vinegar, onions, garlic and herbs. The ones I had were most likely spinach, beetroot and eggplant. The common ingredient in all of them is the walnut sauce, all adorned with a little pomegranate drop. The taste is very unique. From here on I continued to the Metzketa area. It was easiest to just order a bowl taxi, so this is what I did, straight from the station to this beautiful ancient monastery. This monastery is called Javari Monastery. It is a 6th century Georgian Orthodox monastery right near Metzketa, overlooking the city itself from across the two rivers flowing through the valley. The church is almost one of a kind as it is one of the few churches that survived to the present day, remaining almost completely unchanged. The church even has its own type, the Javari type, which is now a church architecture that is very prevalent in Georgia and Armenia from having survived all of these centuries. It is time to head to the actual city of Metzketa. Even though it was very appealing to try and make my way down the hill and then make my way over to the city, I didn't quite make it and there was just a highway below so I turned to the parking lot. Here there was also some type of mini market going on with typical Georgian goods, cut out boards of wedding clothes and pomegranate and orange juice for the visitors to buy. They were also selling church gela. This is a popular candle shaped candy. It mostly consists of fruit juice, nuts and flour after they put several nuts together on a string and then dip it into a fruit juice. Most often grape juice since Georgia is the birthplace of wine. However, I don't have any footage to show since I only drank wine once during my stay as I'm not a drinker. After checking it out, it was time to go to Metzketa itself.
Down in Metzketa, it was very lively and full of people because of Easter. And since it is the time of Easter, a lot of people are selling these plants called boxwoods. I happened to be in Metzketa during the Easter bank holiday, so it was all around. It is used for a religious event called Palm Sunday, taking place before Easter usually. For myself, I had gotten one in this cute pale yellow knitted cover. In the New Testament, Christ was greeted into Jerusalem with palm branches. The locals use it to greet Christ in the same way. Because of the religious festivities, as soon as I stepped onto the church grounds of the main church of Mesquetta, you could hear hymns and prayers all around. It was very busy at the Svetit Koveli Cathedral, or translated to English, the Cathedral of the Living Pillar. After the Holy Trinity Cathedral, this is the largest church building in Georgia. This video is mostly a video of churches, as this area is littered with them all over. The whole place has such a cozy vibe. The view from the river that I saw earlier from Javari Monastery was also really stunning. But it was time to walk a bit around the town and see maybe some other things before who knows running into another church. So yeah, earlier today I was at the Joari Monastery and I was just at another cathedral. Because it's Easter, I think that everybody's like selling these little tiny things. So I got one as well. And now I'm going up to another church before it closes. It's a really beautiful area. And there's so many mountains here and it's really great. But yeah, I'm not entirely sure what this is. I will research it later. So right now I'm going to Santvaro. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm honestly not sure. Most of the times I have no idea how to pronounce any of these Georgian names. Not surprisingly, I found my way into another church. This is called, like I tried to pronounce earlier, the Samtavoro convent. When I was there, it was pushing closing time as the ladies of the church were already busy sweeping and vacuuming. As this is the third church of the day, I can say that Metzketa makes an excellent pilgrimage for anyone who's orthodox. So that was my day trip to Metzketa. I'm not sure also how to pronounce this. But yeah, I'm just leaving the city right now. I'm going to bolt it back to Tbilisi center and have some dinner. <laughs> but it's a pretty great place and the sun is already set, but you can still see the outline of the mountains up ahead, which I think is pretty neat. Uh, I really recommend this for a day trip if you ever come to Tbilisi.